So tonight we are going to learn how to draw fish. And um, we're going to try to go for a more realistic fish, somewhere in between cartoon and realism. And uh, we're going to learn how to do this by going step through step through the body of the fish and how we could break that into shapes. So if we look at this right here, we kind of have an ellipse. Then we have something of a triangle, a triangle, and we'll call that a rectangle that's slanted. So before I start drawing, I get my piece of paper out and I'm going to warm up by practicing that those shapes. So we have an oval, right? We call that an ellipse, an oval. And I can make that like this. Now I draw very lightly and then I'm gonna go in and, and make it a little bit darker. So, and if you're warming up to draw, what we usually do is we actually warm up by making ellipses or ovals. So that's gonna be my oval. Then I'm gonna come in and I have this thing almost like a parallelogram. And a parallelogram is a rectangle that's put at an angle. So I can make that by making one line and then coming and putting a line at an angle and a line at another angle. And then I can connect those two together. So I have that shape right there. Now let's look at the fin. The fin is something like a triangle. If we look at that shape right there, it's something like a triangle. And come over and practice that triangle. I'm gonna say that triangle is sitting on its side. Almost like an arrow, if it were an arrow, right? Then I'm gonna make another one sitting on its side, like the part, the, the top part of an arrow. Now I got this little side fin, and that side fin, I'm gonna consider a teardrop. But we can see that that side fin is sitting at an angle, so I'm gonna have it as a angled teardrop. And then I have this little underneath fin, I don't know what you call that. But um, if we look at that, that's almost the shape of a triangle too. And that triangle is a little bit more shallow. So after I practice all my shapes, we're gonna come in here and try to put them together, see what we get. Okay. Now the first thing, remember we have that body of the fish and that is gonna be an oval, what we call an ellipse. And I'm gonna put that right here. And I'm gonna draw very light so I can go in and start to darken it later. So I'll make that a little bit darker so we can see it. So I have my oval. Now let's make our top fin, I'm gonna dorsal fin do we call it? And that is our parallelogram. or our rectangle that's sitting on an angle. Now I'm going to make those, that thin part in the back. And I'm drawing very lightly here because I'm gonna go in and start to retrace it, right? And I can look at the center of my uh, side of my oval, and then I'm going to make that triangle that comes out the back side. Cool. Now I'm gonna go for that little underneath. And we knew that that was a shallow triangle and now i'm gonna get my side teardrop okay now we're gonna make this uh fish a little bit more less like shapes and more like fish body and i'm gonna do that make the mouth i'm gonna give them a little bit of a pop out and i now i get to start to get a little bit darker in my line and i can kind of almost trace my shapes and kind of give them a little wiggle. Right? Now this, this dips in and dips in and it gets a lot more narrow than this part. So I'm gonna make that a little bit more narrow. And I can do that by going just like that. I'm gonna flesh out my fins and I'm gonna give them a little jazz at the end. I'm gonna dip in, give them a little jazz and come in. Okay. Now my underneath fin and this is kind of cool because we see how it goes, it bends, right? And you see where this is very straight. So I'm gonna make that thing bend. Ooh. Now I got my other fin. Now my other fin just feels like a, a teardrop sitting on top of that oval, but I'm gonna make them feel connected now. And we see how that pops up, right? So I go back to my mouth, gonna go in, dip out and connect them. Maybe give it a little bit more shape there. Okay. 
No, we really sell the deal when we have a eyeball, right? That kind of tells us that we have a fish body is with that eyeball. I'm gonna put that eyeball right here. Get that classic circle fish eyeball. And then I'm gonna put another circle in there. I'm gonna make that one a little bit darker. Give them a little expression line. And now I'm gonna find out where his gill lives and I'm gonna say that his gill lives right there. Ooh, now I get to put in the details and that's the fun part. So I got these little lines for my fin. Right. I'm gonna come down, put some lines in that underneath fin. I think we got a belly on that fish. I'm gonna put my other lines in the side fin. And then I get to go back and do this cool fin over here. I'm gonna put some lines in there. Ooh, nice. Now, let's see what we can get going on in that body. We kind of have this Nemo thing going on here, that clownfish thing. So I'm gonna put some bands in there. Now, if I went in there and put bands like this, that doesn't look realistic, right? So I'm going to bend those bands. I'm gonna bend those bands. I'm gonna put them, get them another band in there. I'm gonna bend, I get a little wiggle to that. All right, now I can come in if I wanted to kind of color those in. And this is a great thing if you have colored pencils or crayons, you put some color in here because you make that thing white and orange, it's gonna say clownfish all over the place. Just shade these guys in, sweet. Now I get to go in and start to clean my fish up where I'm going to start to erase stuff and make stuff a little bit more darker. Now we really want to be able to see that line where the fin and the body ends. And you see where it's this dark line? Let's make that a dark line. Ooh, nice. We're going to give a little bit of line to that belly too. Cool. And let's get more of a mouth. Let's get some more mouth in there. Now we're starting to get something that looks like a fish. And I can come in and use my eraser to start cleaning this guy up. So I got my little outlines that were my guide. Get those a little bit cleaner. All right. Ooh, that's gotta come too. And I start to adjust them however I see fit. Like I'm gonna wanna do this. <laughs> Now we're going to put them in the water and up into those water like bubbles. So you get little bubbles going on. And we can get some seaweed. Maybe he's on, he's an underwater gravel guy. And there you go. Maybe get some ocean waves up there too. You can design however he lives, wherever he lives.